This is an ensign, also known as the Colours, and it's the national flag um, of whoever is in control of the ship. But you only bring out the, the Colours when you're actually about to enter into a battle situation. And then when a ship is surrendered um, and captured, then the Colours get taken off. This particular object was captured by the British fleet uh, in 1800. It was one of only two ships that actually got away from the Battle of the Nile. And, you know, 18 months after that, they actually managed to finally capture this ship and almost complete the set, if you like. It's significant really for, um, for Nelson because the Battle of the Nile was such a complete victory that it really did sort of cement his reputation. The colours were struck, taken off and packed and sent back here to Norwich as a mark of his respect and esteem for where he grew up um, and for his home county. Norfolk Museum Service is so keen to have this wonderful object as the centrepiece of our Norfolk and Nelson exhibition. We do hope that it will help people to refocus on Nelson, both as a great national hero, but as a local man as well. Norfolk is, after all, Nelson's county, and it can be nothing but inspirational to have it on display to invite people to come and see this great treasure. Today is obviously very exciting because it's the first time that we're actually able to see it. So what we're doing is we're unrolling um, and minutely examining the flag to look at uh, areas of weakness and how we'll be able to actually display it. You come and spot the bullet holes, you see, you think about the history it's been through, the significance it's had in our nation's story. It dominates the room and I am just in awe about how such a delicate piece of material can be stored. It's one thing seeing some numbers on a piece of paper and it's quite another thing to see the object. I've been trying to visualise it in my mind that it's kind of about the size of a swimming pool. So yes, that is very, very large. There's a real buzz in the room, but there's also a deep reverence too. But there's huge respect for something like this, although it's inert. There is a sense of hush and a sense of awe because I think everybody is feeling that this is a very special moment. You know, your heart goes into your throat. Before I've been anticipating, you know, what if it is in, in such poor condition that we can't display it? But actually, um, it's really uh, impressively um, robust. Everything you do in conservation it mustn't damage the textile in any way. It must keep hold of anything of historic interest and the cleaning's only done under careful um, testing so the cleaning won't damage it and uh, you have to weigh up whether it would be of an advantage to get rid of the dirt which may be damaging it or leave it in. That's the primary concern really is what we can actually do with the object and um, that's not going to you know hasten any kind of uh, damage to it. In this case particularly we'll keep all the dust that comes off because it's going to have things like hopefully gunpowder and all sorts of interesting things in. We can start to piece together exactly what's what's happened to the object in, in its long history. You wonder how it's managed to survive all these years but there's some fantastic expert people like we see behind us in the hall today, preserving it and keeping it for future generations. And here it is in historic St Andrew's Hall. Choosing St Andrew's Hall um, is, is partly because it's large enough a space to actually be able to unroll the object, but for me it's very much about bringing this object right back home to where it was originally displayed. So yes, the fact that we're able to bring it here today does have added resonance. We hope that the exhibition itself will be a hugely enjoyable one for the people of Norfolk. We also hope that it will be a strong draw for lots of visitors to the county from elsewhere, particularly as it's in such an important summer slot. This flag has seen so much of history and it is going to be inspirational for people to see it. As many people as possible must come to the exhibition next year and have a look at it and just think about the story it tells. It's wonderful.